Welcome back to another episode of Pixelweb. So today I'm going to show you a few ways that you can get rid of the admin bar of your WordPress powered website. Now there's a lot of ways to do it, but I'm just going to focus on uh, three of them. All right, so why would you want to do this? Well, if you find it distracting, if you're designing your site and you see it's up there and you really don't need it uh, to be there, um, especially if it's distracting you, then you know you may want to remove it. And um, there's some easy options to do that and there's some more difficult options. So I'm going to start with the hardest option for now. So I'm going to go to my text editor. So I'm right here in my text editor and I have the snippet of code. It's uh, remove the admin bar from the front end. So pretty much you just hook it into the add filter, show admin bar, and you're returning false. So I'm going to uncomment this code snippet right there. I'm going to save it, go back to the front end, and I'm going to refresh the page. All right, so now it's gone. All right, so now how do you get back to the back end? All right, well, that's easy to do. Um, one, you could either set it up that you have your meta, um, your meta login information towards the bottom, like, you know, the link to your login page, and that would just take you back, or you could just type like that. All right, so, you know, that's not the most user-friendly way, um, but it does deal with the issue of the admin bar on the front end. Now, you still have it here in the back end, which is fine, you know, but, you know, the purpose of it was for the front end when you're here. All right, so now that was pretty painless. I mean, you could do that if you have a text editor and you upload it, you know, via you know, FTP to your server, and then, you know, it's it'll work. Uh, there's other ways to do it. I mean, let me comment this out. All right, so now I'm going to take this and just copy that. Well, wait, let me save that file, of course. All right, so now I'm going to refresh. And now you're back. You have the admin bar back again. All right, so another way to do this, I mean, using the same snippet of code, so it's still technically under the same um, the same idea of using code, which is not the easiest way, but you know, it is a way. You could use the code snippet uh, plugin here, and then you know you will put in the title. So uh, remove admin bar. All right, so now here you just paste it in. I'm using the code snippets uh, plugin. It's a very user-friendly plugin uh, to use if you don't want to create a child theme and uh, for your site and if you don't want to worry about working with code uh, from your local computer then you know migrating it to your server and things of that nature. So all right so I put that snippet of code there again. So let's look at that again. Just going to increase the font size of the screen. So again add underscore filter opening, closing parentheses, and then in single quotation marks or double quotation marks, doesn't matter. Uh, show underscore admin underscore bar, and then comma separated, and then another uh, double underscore return underscore false. And then don't forget to close off with a semicolon. So, you know, you could save and activate the changes. I'm going to bring this back down. And now let's go to the front and see if that worked. And it worked. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the back end. You know, I'm going to go back to my snippets. I'll go to all snippets. And I'm going to deactivate that one. All right, so what's another way that we can do uh, do this? All right, so now we're, you see we have the admin bar back. Another way is actually a very simple to do. You can just go back to your user profile. And then show to bar when viewing site. Most people don't even realize this is here. It's, you know, checked by default to show the admin bar. But if you uncheck it, update your profile. And then go to the front. Again, it's no longer there. All right, so that works. So now let's go back again. I'm going to go into my user profile and I'm going to show toolbar from viewing the site 
Once that's done, I'll just confirm that it's done. Now, another way it's extremely easy is using a browser extension. And if you look over here to the right, right here, I have this WP Admin Bar Hider. Now, what this does is I can just toggle on and off the admin bar. And it just works. I mean, it's, it's seamless. It works on the front end, back end. You could just, you know, do, just click it and it'll do what it's supposed to. Very user friendly. All right, so you can get that if you are, you know, using Chrome and you go to the um, extend, you go to your settings and then you go to extensions, get extensions. And the one you're going to be looking for is this one right here. It's the WordPress admin bar control. You see it's got five stars. It's very popular. It's used by 10,218 users. You know, it's very user friendly, easy to use. Just click it and it does what it's supposed to. So you can just take a look at that. And that's an easy way to deal with the admin bar. Again, this is, you know, something that you might want to explore using, especially if you have a fixed menu um, bar up here that, you know, maybe scrolls down and then stays fixed up there. This thing is not using that, but I have built things that do. And there's a lot of ways to get around that also. I uh, get a count for it with code again, um, but it's just always easy just to toggle it on and off or use a snippet of code or just go into your user profile settings and just disable it. All right, so that was a very simple way to do it. Um, three ways to do it, one with code, one by using the user profile, and the other one by using a browser extension. There's other ways, you could use CSS to hide it, you could, you know, create another secondary location for it. There's so many ways to do it, you know, but the, the more difficult it is, the less likely it is for you to use it. So I just want to show you a few ways and a few options that you have. All right, so this was a quick code snippet and a browser extension that you could use um, to hide the WordPress admin bar on the front end of your site. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'll give you more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website. I'll see you next time. Take care.